All right, so for this facial rating, we are going to do Mike Tyson, Iron Mike Tyson. But before we begin, I need to um, do these three guys real quick. So I'm going to just tell you guys what their rating is. Some of y'all might know who these gentlemen are. So let's start off with the first one. He is an international model, and his name is Benjamin Tang. His overall rating is a 7.5. How rare is that? That is one in 700 people. The percentile of people is 0.1%. The second person is an influencer, a fitness influencer, and his he goes by the name of Simeon Panda. Now his overall rating is a 6.9. How rare is that? That is one in 70 people, and the percentile of people is the top 1%. And the last but not least, he is a social media personality known for posting TikTok videos. And he goes by the name of Sergi Kaber, and his overall rating is a 7. How rare is that? That is 1 in 92 people, and the percentage of people is the top 1%. So all of these guys are around either the top 1% or above. So let's see where Mike Tyson is going to be rated. <clears throat> so his overall rating is a 6.5. How rare is that? That is 1 in 18 0.4 people the percentage of people is the top five percent his side facial score is a 38 percent his front facial score is a 51 percent his total facial harmony score is a 46 percent his facial dimorphism is a six his body fat factors is a nine and his miscellaneous features is an 8.5 the tear this is to the right side a tier one is ideal tier two is near ideal tier three is normal tier four is a flaw tier five is a flaw Tier 6 is a huge flaw, and Tier 7 breaks harmony. The overall facial assessment breakdown, so these are the best features that I noticed, and that is going to be to the left side. So he has a wide neck, wide jaw, broad facial bone structure, narrow forehead, masculine brow ridge region, and gray eye spacing. Now the worst features are to the right side, and that is thin eyes, jaw not too sharp enough, too much chin projection, downswung nose, rounded nasal tip, and eyeballs are extremely upturned. Now these are the rarity scores of other celebrities so you can compare. Now his facial dimorphism, we're looking to the left side since he is a male, and I gave a check on neck width, dominant lower third, jaw frontal angle, nasal projection, nasal frontal angle, and ramus length. The body fat factors, he gets 100 on that because he's very lean, especially at this time. We got to remember, this is prime Mike Tyson, not Mike Tyson now. And then the miscellaneous features, I gave him a check on the balding and the tear trough. So he did have a bit of balding around that time, even around his prime. And he did have a, some eye bags. All right, so the eye separation ratio is a to one. So this is the distance between the pupils relative to the width of the face and 45.1% is perfect. So he does got good eye spacing. His facial thirds is a tier four. Now, the reason why it's a tier four is because his lower third is a little bit too long. So if you have a lower third that's a little bit too long, it can kind of throw your, measure, your facial measurements off and it can kind of unbalance the face a little bit. His careful tilt is 3.5. That is really average. Um, there's really nothing to say about this. Uh, preferably, you want it to be more tilted up to make the face look more youthful, but this is not bad at all. His facial width to height ratio, so how compact are the facial features within his face? And his is extremely compact at 2.19. 2.19 is gonna land you at a tier five, and that is not where you wanna be. Preferably, his facial features need to be a little bit more, less compact, and I guess that's due to his eyebrows being very low set, and him having just a very wide, very, very wide uh, facial structure. His jaw frontal angle is a tier one as well at 94 degrees. 94 degrees is perfectly fine. That is at the higher tilt, so he does have a pretty wide jaw, but this is probably like the widest it's probably gonna be if you wanna be within that ideal range. His cheekbone high sentence is 76%. 76% is average at best, and 76% um, is gonna give you at a tier three, which is the normal range. The total facial height to width ratio is 1.35. 1.35 is perfect and he doesn't have a long head or a short head it's right in the middle so you can't go wrong with this his bigonial width is 91 percent <clears throat> he does have a wide jaw 
and it is not too wide to where it just looks kind of uncandy. His chance of filtration ratio is 2.47. 2.47 is going to get you in that ideal range. So this is going to be the preferred range of uh, chin to filtration ratio. So he does have a good balance of his lower third. And his lower third is probably like one of his best features, I guess you could say, besides like the actual length of it relative to other um, other places of his face, like his mid and upper third. But other than that, his lower third seems to be pretty okay. His neck width is actually pretty wide at 100, well, over 100%. I put it at 100%, but his is actually over 100%. Some people look at this maybe as over masculinized, but if we look at other people like The Rock, you're gonna see something like this as well. The mouth to nose width ratio is 1.23. 1.23 is means that that his nose and it really, it really comes from his nose his, there's nothing wrong with his mouth is his nose his nose is very um wide like the base of it like the alien base of it it's just extremely wide and if your nostrils kind of like flare out like that and it's not really the nostrils too because um the nasal bridge is wider as well so his nose just in general is extremely wide so this kind of breaks harmony a bit uh, his mid face ratio is a tier 4 at 1.09 now like i said before his face is very compact and with a compact face yes it's gonna look striking but it's gonna be too much you want it to kind of be spaced out this is where the harmony comes into place if your your facial features are not uh, spaced out properly it's gonna look kind of unbalanced his eyebrow settingness is a tier two. Now he does have low set eyebrows, but the thing is, the problem is, his eyes, like the like the length of it, is actually even smaller. So it's relative to the length of your eyes or the height of the actual eye itself. So if your height is low and your eyebrows are low, it's going to appear low set. But is it really actually low set? Probably not. But his is very, very close to being within that ideal range. So this is not a flaw by any means necessary. This is actually very, very close to what is considered ideal. His eye spacing, one eye test, or one with eyes apart is 1.04. 1.04 is perfect. So he does have a good uh, spacing between his eyes. His eye aspect ratio is a tier three at four. He has very thin eyes. His lower lip to upper lip ratio is a one at 1.8. So he does have a good relationship between his upper and lower lip. His upper lip doesn't, you know, is not too tall for his lower lip. His deviation from his ispralateral alar angle, which is the mid face angle that's created between the sub nasal all the way to the outer, to the outer, um, the outer rims of your eyes or the outer edges of the eyes. And that is going to be relative to your jaw frontal angle. Now his is at six degrees, so that's literally one degree off of the preferred range. But this is still perfect in my opinion, and um, yeah, so this is not bad. And this also creates even more, makes his face even more harmonious. His eyebrow tilt is a tier three at twenty-four degrees. Now this is too feminizing, and you would not get full points for this. You will get some points deducted because. Uh, as where a female can maybe get away with this slightly uh, this is just too much you don't want to have your eyes be up this upturned because it will make you look like a super villain his bitemporal width is 80 percent he does have a very narrow forehead for his face like i said he has a broad face but his actual forehead itself is extremely narrow so you don't want to have a narrow face it'll make your face kind of look a little bit weird um the way his face structure is where it's kind of like narrow and it kind of kind of goes up to his cheekbones and it gets wide and it gets narrow again it kind of makes your face look like almost like a pear in a way i don't know it just makes it kind of have a, like a little weird shape to it but it's not bad though his lower third proportions is normal at 32 percent 32 percent is right there at that preferred range at 33 and uh yeah you want to have good lower third like i said again his lower third is perfect literally his ispralateral alar angle is 100 degrees 100 degrees is kind of too wide so he does have very wide uh wide set eyes or not not wide set eyes like i said again his eyes are narrow and uh this also um to me that his nose and the height like the height of his actual nose is probably short so he probably has a short nose so i will get to that in the side measurements 
So his gonial angle is 135 degrees. That means he does not have a sharp gonial angle. And this is not gonna be ideal at all. So that will give him a tier five. His nasal frontal angle is a tier one. He does have a prominent brow ridge at 111 degrees. This is probably like the most I've ever seen. Maybe I could be wrong, but yeah, he does have a very pronounced brow region area. And he also has some brow bossing on the top. His mandibular plane angle is 23 degrees. 23 degrees means that his mandible is like literally one degree shy of being within that preferred range. And he doesn't have a mandible that is too down swung. So this is not bad at all. His ramus to mandible ratio is 0 0.72. So 72% of the ramus or 72% of the mandible, I mean. So he doesn't really have a short ramus. His facial convection from the gabella is 171 degrees, and it goes from the chin to the subnasal to the gabella. And I want y'all to remember that because we're gonna have some other measurements that's similar to this one. And his is in the middle, right in the middle of 168 to 176. So this is gonna be good. So he doesn't have too flat of a face or too rounded of a face. His submental cervical angle is 90 uh, degrees. I had to use a different pictures just to make sure, but yeah, he does have a good uh, cervical angle. And I think it's due to him not having any loose skin underneath the chin, and obviously he is low body fat. Uh, the nasal facial angle is a tier one at 36 degrees. 36 degrees means that he does get a good relationship between the nose and the chin, and this does not take into account his facial convexity as well. So I need to make, make sure like, I tell y'all guys that because there's going to be another measurement, the nasal mental angle, that's going to also take in, into account his uh, facial convexity. His nasal labial angle is 79 degrees. He does have a very downswung nose. So um, this is the best measurement to indicate whether how downswung your nose is. And his nose is very downswung. At 79 degrees, we'll give him a tier five, and that is a flaw. His orbital vector, so uh, this is a way to indicate if your eyes are deep set or not and his eyes are deep rooted into his skull and um, yeah, his eyes don't bulge out. His total facial convexity is 146 degrees. It also includes the nose as well and 146 degrees is perfectly fine. That is still at the higher end of it. So he, he's more of on the rounder side, but this is perfectly fine. His mental labial angle is a tier six at 80, 89 degrees. And 89 degrees means that his chin is just too protrusive, but it also could be his lower lip as well as we might see in the lip measurements too. So it could be not only his chin, but his lower lip that might also be protrusive, who knows? But I think, personally, I think it's gonna be his chin, but we will find out once we get there. His facial convexity from the Dazion is a tier two. Now, this is only literally, literally, I mean, just literally, just like one degree slightly off, but this is not bad at all. 162 degrees is still within the normal range, in my opinion. His nasal projection is a tier one at 0 0.60. 0 0.60 means that he has a very projected nose and is literally taking the width of the nose relative to the nasal bridge of the nose. His nasal width to height projection is a one. So that means that he does have a very short and stubby nose relative to the width of his nose. And he does not have a very long nose. Like I said, with the espalator alier angle, that would kind of give me an insight on his nasal width or the nasal, or not the length, but nasal width the nasal height or his nose height. So how long is his nose? And the ispilateral alier angle kind of gave me that idea that his nose was kind of short. So the, the side measurements kind of um, hinder your front measurements as well. These two measurements kind of go together. Uh, his rickets elon, so the limb measurements. So let's start off with the elon. So the elon goes from the tip of the nose down to the chin and the problem is that his lips actually touch the line. It's actually supposed to be behind the line. So he gets a th tier three for that. Now, his lower lip actually passes the line, which is not supposed to pass the line in the H line. And um, yeah, he gets a tier three for that as well. The S line goes from the middle of the nose down to chin and his lower lip and his upper lip passes the line, which is not supposed to do that. And the bursa line, the lips actually are pretty good so his upper lip is protrusive than his lower lip. the nasal mental angle the relationship between the nose and the chin but it takes into account your facial convexity as well and his is a tier one at 129 degrees 
Now, he did have a good relationship between the nose and the chin, and he also does have good facial convexity, so I can see why this measurement will be within the ideal range. His gonia to mouth relationship. So the gonian bone is where the two vectors meet from the ramus and from the mandible, and his bone is actually beneath the mouth line. So this to, uh, this is a way to determine whether you have a good sized jaw for your face, and he does have that. His recession relative to the Frankfurt plane angle, so he is not recessed at all, as you can see, and it actually passes his gabella as well. His brow-brush inclination is too inclined at 27 degrees. Now, this is kind of Neanderthalic, and it's going to make you look kind of like cavemanish, I guess you could say. And you don't want your forehead to be inclined too far back. Um, it's not going to be very uh, pleasing from looking at it from the side view profile. So, yeah, his forehead is inclined a little bit too far back. His nasal tip is 153 degrees. I had to do this multiple times because nasal tip measurements are actually kind of tricky but his nasal tip is just a little bit too rounded on the top of it and it's kind of hard to tell but just looking at his nasal tip from here his nasal tip isn't sharp enough i understand that he's african-american but you need a more sharper nasal tip to make the nose look more aesthetic all right his lower lip to some mental plane angle is 107 degrees 107 degrees is perfectly fine he doesn't have any loose skin underneath the neck and um he does have a protrusive chin which kind of helps kind of balance that as well but he also has a very protrusive lips as well just by looking at it but they all kind of balance each other out to make it um within the ideal range so this is perfect his inferior third of the face slash lower third facial proportions this is another way of measuring whether your lower third if you have an adequate lower third i should say and like i said again his lower third is probably his best feature of his face and um, yeah, so he is within that preferred range at 0 0.46. And yeah, so it measures the whole upper third of the lower third and, and it divides that um, under the lower third. So this th this uh, top is gonna be divided by this bottom right here. And um, I got 0 0.46, so that is within that ideal range. So yeah, his lower third just in general is perfect. So this is an ideal lower third right here. And it's been a while since I've rated somebody who had a lower third that is perfect. So, yeah. His S2 line is at 66%. So, what did this indicate? This indicates that he actually does have an overbite. So, this will be a class 2 mild inclusion. And a class 2 mild inclusion means that he does have an overbite. And if you look at his pictures, you can tell that he does have an overbite. So, an overbite is not going to be um, the preferred type of teeth alignment and um a class two bite can mean a slew of things as well but um yeah so he does have an overbite his z angle is 73 degrees 73 degrees indicates to me that he does have a normal lip protrusion believe it or not now the problem with this is that some of the lip measurements or a lot of the lip measurements were kind of off which was kind of weird i guess you can say because you don't expect it to be off like this now i understand that he does have his mouth a little bit open but preferably you want to have um your lip because usually this kind of the z angle will indicate to me whether you're going to do well on your lip measurements or not um but but for him he did not do too well on his lip measurements and i think it's because his jaw so like as you can see like i'm gonna just go right here you see this part right here is like his upper jaw region protrudes so far out. And if you have your upper jaw protruding this far out, there is no way in the hell you're going to pass your E line or your S line. It's just not happening because it goes from is relative from the nose to the chin. And I think it could be also that his chin is receded a little bit back maybe too. And his lips are kind of protrusive forward. This is kind of a little bit weird, but, um, Usually, usually, if your Z angle is in the ideal range or in the normal range, you should be able to pass some of your lip measurements. So this is kind of like a weird little thing going on right here. But overall, it's kind of okay. It's just normal, but it's not ideal. All right, so this is it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and yeah, I'm out. Peace.